the wild. The weaver. And the worm. Three primal forces from which the world Gaia springs. The wild is creation, formless and abundant. The weaver shapes, making order out of chaos. The worm, whose purpose was to destroy the old, to make room for the new, went mad. Now, a force of corruption feeding on greed, malice, and hate. It ravages Gaia. Through its unwitting accomplices, mankind, the balance between those three forces is long gone now. Insidiously, the worm gains more and more ground every day. Vitalized by the damage humans have brought to the Earth. We, the werewolves, remain. Born of man, beast, and spirit. We are the vindication of Gaia and the Wild. The way to get Indran out of the region is to attack their bottom line. We have a plan to convince them there's no profit to be had here. Ludmilla, if you please. I've recently gained access to the system that controls all the on-site oil pumps. That's our target. We tamper with the pumps and send dummy data to the system to make them think their oil field has run dry. Will that really be enough? According to the internal files I got my hands on, they treat unprofitable sites like gangrenous limbs. They'll give this one the chop right away. So, how do we go about this, Rotko? Who does what? Ludmilla knows the location, so she will take point. She'll infiltrate the site and connect Ava to their network, giving her access to their system. Once I'm hooked up, I'll only need a few minutes. But if something goes wrong, my wife ends up on her own in enemy territory. I don't like it. I'm going to be fine, Call. We've been preparing this for weeks. We've calculated the risks. And if there's any sign of trouble, you and I go in and retrieve her. But I'd rather we stay covert. Ludmilla will have the easiest time on her own. I'm heading out. I want to be done before daybreak. Take care of Adana while I'm away. I think she's going a little crazy all cooped up in here. Don't worry, I'll talk to her. You just focus on your mission. Call. I've got this. I love you. See you soon. What do you think, old friend? Yeah, that makes two of us. I'm not too keen on this plan. Not looking forward to packing all this up tomorrow morning. I don't like thinking that Ludmilla's on her own, Rodko. I understand. She's my sister, remember? What about Rafiq? He never leaves his loopy shape. No one would have noticed him. I gave it a lot of thought. Her chances of success are better if she's alone. It's as simple as that. If things don't go as planned, you can tear through as much Endrin scum as you like to get her out. But for now, we stay put. Go. Rest while we wait.
We've been stuck in this cave for weeks studying Endrin's movements. At least now we finally got a plan. I hope we're done here soon. Got everything squared away? Not a lot to square away. All I'm doing is pressing a button once Ludmilla gets me hooked up. Still got a ways to go before I can do much more than that. If I tried to breach their network, they'd be on us in a second. Don't be so hard on yourself. You're ten times better at hacking than me or Rotko with your eyes closed. Just give it time. I know, I know, but... Thanks. A little pep talk never hurts. But how are you doing? Talk to your daughter yet? No, not yet. I'm just heading her way. Hey, how you doing? I'm bored out of my mind. There's nothing to do here, and it's wet and miserable. Don't worry, our work here's nearly finished. You'll be back at the cairn with your friends before you know it. I know, but why'd you have to drag me out here in the first place? It's not like you've got me doing anything out here. Your mom wanted you to come along, so you could see what our field missions entail. They entail a bunch of bullshit. All we ever do is watch and take notes. We're not accomplishing anything. Language, young lady. And preparation is key. Know how your enemy will respond before you move. Foe stripped of surprise is fangless. Why didn't you go with Mom anyway? She's all alone out there. If something happens to her... I wish I could've. But Rodko wants us to keep a low profile. And there's no one better at that than your mom. <laughs> Rodko's a dumbass. Hey, that's your uncle you're talking about. And the leader of our pack. You know it's his job to make those decisions. And like I said, all that observation we were doing was minimizing the danger. Your mother will be just fine, Aidy. Don't worry. Oh, shit. Kahal, wake up! We're gonna need you. A helicopter just touched down on the site's landing pad. Apparently it's some Endron exec. Their presence has shaken things up. Tell me Ludmilla's okay. She's okay. They've still got no idea she's on site. But their guard patrols have changed, and certain areas are locked down. And that includes the one Ludmilla's in. So what's the plan now? The mission's sunk. We go in there, get her out, and wait for things to quiet down. But to get her off site, the locked off areas need to be manually unlocked. And Ludmilla's stuck on the wrong side. Shit. Fortunately, she has already secured a terminal. She'll guide you to her location over the radio. Go now. Bring her back. There's no time to waste. My sister needs you. Ludmilla, I'm on my way. Remember, stay out of sight. I'll open any door I have access to through their network. I've opened all the external ducts. Guards. Ludmilla, we've got a lot of company. The arrival of 
of the Endron exec has changed their setup. Tell me where you are. I'm looking at the southern part of the outer fence. And a shit ton of guards. There's no way I'll be able to make a move without being seen. Southern part of the outer fence. Got it. There. That should distract him for a few minutes. But if a guard does see you... He won't live long enough to raise the alarm. They sold their souls to Endron. They don't get any mercy. Hell of a time for a malfunction. I'll go check it out. Idea what could have caused it? I don't care. Just want it fixed and fast. Some big shot just arrived on site. Folks upstairs want everything to be perfect. I'm in the refinery. Perfect. I'm not far now. Nearly at the passageway leading into it. Shit! Something's following me. What is it? I think it's a black spiral dancer. Please! Let Mila just hold on. Fuck! Rodko. I heard. No more sneaking around. We fight. Now go! I'll meet you with repeat. I'm done fucking around.
Camilla. Call. Tell AD. No! Please, no! Listen to me! Oh, damn it! No. You need to fight the rage. Oh, let's repeat! Stop it! No! What have I done? Rafik? There's no time to mourn. We need to go. Just reported back to base. Not that there's anything to report. No kidding. Though I guess we've got a special guest coming tonight. Yeah, an engine rep, no less. She should be here soon. You know they're hiring, right? Think you'd ever make the move to Andrin? Hey! What the- Clear dusk. We're good to go. Five years ago, I abandoned the woods of Tarker's Mill. I abandoned my cairn. Endrin killed my wife. I gave in to rage. The worm touched my soul. I had to leave my daughter. It was the hardest decision I ever made. Hey, 
and in other news, Andrin is joining the fight against global warming. The energy company today announced that their new biofuel will be hitting the market soon. This revolutionary new formula will be unveiled alongside the opening of their new headquarters in... This exile was my only choice. I'd become a danger to my pack. I often wonder what's become of them. Of Rodko, of Ava, of Adi. This is the closest I've been to Talker's Mill in five years. How much time do we have before they notice the guards on the outside have gone quiet? They report in by radio every hour. That's our deadline for getting our hands on the explosives and getting out of here. Let's go through the plan again, just to make sure everything's clear. You've got to swap the delivery label on the crate of explosives intended for Ender. You do that, and they'll load us up with smiles on their faces. All you've got to do is open the gate to their delivery bay for me. I'll create a diversion while you're exchanging the labels. Got it. We'll have to play it tight, though. One hiccup in the plan falls through. We'll have you sneak around back by their storage facility. Security should be pretty thin there, especially if you go through the ventilation docks. What do your clients intend to do with them anyway? The weather stormers? They're planning on blowing up a big Magadon pharmaceutical plant. Good fucking riddance. I know Magadon's methods. They're the scum of the earth. And guess what? These explosives were originally headed to Endrin. Another megacorp of assholes. Stealing from them is just icing on the cake. Alright. I'm off. Hey, before you go, are you sure you're up for this, man? You seem kind of stressed out back in the truck. I'm fine. Come on, we've got a job to do. Right. If you need me, I'm just a chirp away. Good luck, brother. in the delivery bay and ready to go. Let's do our inventory checks for next month. I'm inside. Good. Try to keep a low profile, would you? Endrin reached out to me, you know. They're hiring and the pay's pretty good. I'm sure it is. They're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a group of activists right now. Lambda mankind. If I were you, I'd stay here. Keep your head down. You hear the new Andrew now? 
announcement about their new biofuel? They say they're going green by the end of the year. The only thing green about that fuel is the label. It's the same shit with new branding. A marketing stunt. I made it to the delivery bay. Good. See that command post next to the gate? You should be able to open things up for me from there. Oh, what? <coughs> Hold up. There's a disturbance in the area. I made it to the delivery bay. Good. See that command post next to the gate? You should be able to open things up for me from there. Dusk, you're up. On it. Once I've got their attention, you go find what we came for and slap on this fancy new delivery label. Got it? Hey, you in the truck. What are you doing here? I'm just here for a pickup, man. Pickup? What are you talking about? There's no pickup on the schedule. Well, check it again. I, I gotta be on there. You really think I'd drive all the way out to the ass end of nowhere if I didn't have a pickup? All right, all right. But I'm gonna have to search that truck. Then we'll see about that pickup. Knock yourself out. According to the intel we received, the crates of explosives should be stored around here. Alright, Dusk. The delivery label's been switched. Time for us to get the hell out of Dodge. Wait. I smell something. Give me a minute to check it out. I knew I smelled it. Silver. 
Whoever ordered this intends to kill Garu. Dusk. They're shipping out silver bullets. You know what that means. Change of plans? Change of plans. I need to find out who's buying these bullets and why. Buy me some more time. So, who's the lady the boss is meeting with upstairs? She's from Andrin. The silver bullets? Who even uses that shit? Is she picking up some golden guns while she's at it? You know what they say, the client is king. Especially when the client's name is Endrin. Shipment's loaded. How are things on your end? Shouldn't be much longer. waiting. Or paying, clearly. You're not getting anything until Endrin is paid up. You can tell that to your President Watkins in person. I don't think you understand what's at stake here. <laughs> oh, I understand that you've just been attacked and you're looking to hit back. I also understand that you need our ammunition to do that. And we've got that ammunition right downstairs, ready and waiting to go as soon as you've paid us. Sorry, Major, but business is business. Well, fuck you two. Then we'll attack Tarker's Mill without your help. And rest assured, Mr. Watkins will hear about this. Tarker's Mill? Hey! You and I need to talk. Who are you? How'd you get in? I'm asking the questions. Who are you talking to? The woman! And what's this attack on Tarker's Mill? I'm calling security. Try it and it'll be the last thing you ever do. Contact her and call off the attack right now. <laughs> you think she's going to listen to me? Do you know who she works for? Don't tell me you haven't heard of Endrin. People with that kind of money do whatever they want. You think they're going to call off a military operation just because I ask nicely? Come on now. I've answered your questions, but I'm a busy man. I've got things to do. Let's put a stop to this little farce. I advise you to stay put while I call my guard. This is your one chance to walk out of here alive, so mm, I wouldn't waste it if I were you. You know what I do to men like you? I shatter their legs, gouge out their fucking eyes. Funny thing is, once I've gutted them and wrapped their intestines around their neck, they still beg me to spare them. These blind, broken men believe that they might survive right up until they draw their last breath. Jesus. What do you even want from me? You obviously know what's happening at Tarker's Mill. Don't pretend that you don't have a network. That's some dangerous information. You sure you want to know? Talk. <sighs> Endrin purchased some facilities at Tarker's Mill, and they're not there to create jobs, no. They plan to do the same thing they always do. Suck the land dry, even if it kills every living thing there in the process. And they'll kill anyone who stands in their way. They can't just kill whoever they want. They've got money, but people would know. The media would spread it far and wide. You really don't know what you're up against, do you? Endrin is powerful. They can do whatever they want. No one will care about a few dead protesters. History is written by the victors, after all. Now, die! Bollocks! Security! Alert! <laughs> Oh, 
Baker's Mill, my old cairn, Adana. I have to go back. Dusk. What the fuck are you doing, Go? I just had to pop a couple guards who wanted to put a bullet in my head. Get the fuck back here already. Sorry, but I didn't have a choice. Keep the engine running. We're out of here as soon as I get back. I'll make good use of that. but I'm not getting any response from that sector. Take your positions, people. Maximum alert until the situation's clear. <laughs>
Mann. Where are we headed? Tarker's Mill. What do we do? Stop the truck. What's even down there? My home. Dusk, stay out of this. Wait! Call! Rodko! Rodko, they've cleared our northern line. They have an exo. We'll take care of the wounded later. We have to stop them. Let's go! Move! <laughs> Rotko. Uh, you'll regret that. Clever boy. All truth, fall back! Fucking silver. Tell me, where's Adana? Don't worry, Kahal. Your daughter didn't fight this battle. How are your wounds? Riddled with silver. I'll take days to heal. But things would have been far worse if you hadn't stepped in. I just did what I had to do. Nothing more. I honestly never thought I'd see your face again. Why'd you come back, Cahal? I was worried about Adana. When I heard the Cairn was being targeted, I had to come back for her. You know I couldn't stay. Not after what I did to Rafiq. I told you that your rightful place was at my side. And what you had done could be forgiven. But no. You chose to abandon us. Me, the Cairn, your daughter. Where is she, Rodko? With Ava. Working undercover at the biggest entrance site in the Pacific Northwest. Best option available to us after the failure of our last mission. Rodko, you let Adana infiltrate Endrin? My fucking daughter? After what happened with her mother? Your daughter is the best undercover agent I have. We will not win our fight for Gaia without first bringing Endrin down. And with your daughter on the inside, we're closer than ever. She may not fight like we do, but she's every bit as strong. You should respect that. The work she's doing inside Indrin is absolutely vital. More so after what their private fucking army just did to us. I'm afraid her work won't be able to stop Indrin from retaliating against us. Not after our last mission. Your last mission? What do you mean? 
You remember the old abandoned mine not far from here? Hendron bought it and turned it into a training center for their new recruits. I launched an attack to wipe them out, but Tank Girl stopped us. The woman you saw in the exo during the attack, she drove us back. Tank Girl, you call her. I encountered her during my last mission. She was trying to buy silver bullets from an arms dealer. That's where I learned she was planning an attack on the Cairn. Major Grainer. That's the name her men give her. But to us, she's Tank Girl. And she leads Endron's troops with about as much grace. Their attack on the Cairn was their first wave of revenge for our attack on the training center. We managed to repel them this time. But it's only a temporary victory. They might return at any moment. And Endron just keeps recruiting soldiers. Then we've got to go back to the mine and destroy their training center. It's the only way to buy the Cairn any sort of safety. No matter how brief. Go back? No. Not until I'm well again. Then we can strike. I'll take care of that goddamn training center myself. You know I can handle it on my own. No. You're no longer a part of this pack. It's my responsibility. And how long will it take for you to get better? Days? Weeks? If they return, the cairn will fall. Huh. I'll think about it. Go pay your respects to your Fen and come back to me. Then we'll talk about the mine. My son! They killed my son! He's lost a lot of blood. I don't know if he'll make it through the night. Has anyone told his wife yet? She... She's gone. Now we're talking. She bled out just before they shot him. Hello there. Hey, Kahal. It's good to see your face again. The Cairn is in a bad way. Dusk, what are you doing here? I thought I told you to keep clear. You really thought I'd leave you behind like that? You should know me better than that by now. Besides, looks like you need all the help you can get. And I really don't want to lose my front row tickets to the Cajal show. Thanks, Dusk. Okay, yeah. No. Thanks sounds real weird coming out of you. Put that shit away. Well, if you really want to help. I'll go look after the injured. I rang the weather stormers and asked them to lend us a hand, too. Don't worry about me. You just do what you gotta do. Magnus didn't even know how to fight. He was a spirit healer. A caretaker of children. Endrin doesn't show anyone mercy. And we won't either. It has been many a year since I last felt your presence, warrior of Gaia. It's been nearly as long since anyone called me that. Your care needs you, and the wild has need of your protection. The Eater of Souls is fighting with all his might to take control of it. And he is winning. The corruption takes many forms, but the effects are always the same. You must help us fight back. I came back to find my daughter. Have you seen her? Ah, Adana. A dear friend, and always respectful of nature. You fear for her safety then? She, too, is fighting for Gaia, in her own way. 
But do not worry. You both walk the same path. You will find each other in time. To fight your battles, you will need power. Power I can provide by helping you develop your warrior gifts. Thank you, Ifen. You may find lost spirits during your travels. Return them to me, and I will be able to strengthen your natural abilities. One last request before you depart. Many of your kin fell in combat. I would ask you to bury them. You will find their bodies both inside and around the cairn. Your penumbra vision will show you the way. Soothe their souls and send them to me, so that they may travel to the wild without being captured by the worm. I will if I can. But my priority is Endrin's training center. Weaken the forces of the worm there, but never forget your brothers and sisters. Gaia needs you. I hope Rodko's changed his mind. Serious? But how? She was in the back, tending to the wounded. It's all my fault. They had a sniper. I just couldn't take him out in time. You deserve to rest at last, Magnus. Go to Ifen. He's waiting. Ah, Kahal. It's good to see you, old friend. Take care of the care. Ceres, Gaia thanks you for your sacrifice. Now go. Ifen is waiting for you. Save the forest, Gahal. Drive out the worm. Rodko must have written this when he lost his sister. Those bastards! Kitamona. How could they? Kitamona. So that's what killed Return her. To they had three snipers trained safe. on her. Thank you, Kahal. Take care of those who remain.
It's true. Rotko did change when he became pack leader. Adana was only a few days old when Ludmilla wrote this letter. Good to see you made it through okay. Thanks in no small part to you. I'm glad you came back at home. Lambda Mankind really helped us out too. We're lucky to have them with us. This letter must have been sent just before the attack on the cairn. That was two years ago now. been so proud. Millie used to say the same thing. following in her mother's footsteps. See, Fen. He's gotten so weak. Please, Rothko, let me help you. Let me deal with this training center. Why is it that you care now, Kahal? We were so easy to ignore when we went right in front of you. What? You want to be part of the pack again? I want to help the pack. I want to protect Adana. But you don't intend to rejoin us. I've already given in to rage and killed one of our kin, Rothko. I can't take the risk of doing it again. You already know I disagree. Nonetheless, we are united by those we mourn. So I'll accept your help. So what can you tell me about this so-called training center? Ava managed to get a hold of the mine blueprints to help us prepare for our previous attack. The site's weak point is its power supply. They apparently haven't had the time to give it a proper upgrade. The whole thing is powered by one big propane tank, just like it was when it was a mine. I see. So if I blow up the tank, the whole mine will cave in, taking the training center with it. Then we'll need explosives. You'll be happy to know I didn't come back empty-handed. I'm aware. I met your new friend... Uh, Dusk, right? He gave me the explosives you two stole. You've still got a problem, though. You don't know the layout of the site. And I'm too injured to go with you. Huh. I don't like touching the stuff. But I suppose I'll use Ava's radio equipment to guide you. That should do the trick. Perfect. So we'll stay in radio contact. Take the explosives and go. Good luck, Kahal. I'll make good dusk, my life. friend. I owe you.
Cassandra? But she was pregnant. I knew it too. The fuckers laughed about it as they did it. What about Sandra, her husband? He saw it happen. And they shot him right after. Leandra, be at peace. I will protect the cairn. Go to Ethan. Of course, Gaul. I'm glad I got to see you. One last time. I am wind. Your struggle is over. Ethan is waiting for you. Gaal, keep fighting. Protect the Cairn for me. Then, perhaps I need to enlist. You hear the internal motto around here? The cost of the fine is always less than the cost of compliance. <laughs> Bingo. That one in their hands. You here to enlist? Yeah. Hear you've been having some trouble lately. You hear correctly. We were attacked a few days ago. We pushed them back, but let's just say we're a little understaffed right now. What's in this training program of yours anyway? That's classified, but those who survive their training become real killing machines. With real thick wallets, too. What do you say? You interested? Absolutely. That's the spirit. Did you register on our website? No, I prefer to do things in person. Can't say I blame you. What's your name? Kahal Fillin. Kahal Fillin. Hell of a name. There you go. You're on the list. All right, then. Go report to the instructor for testing. He's in the warehouse. Oh, and one last thing. Looking at you, it's pretty obvious you've done some time. Try not to mention that. The instructor hates ex-cons. This way. Control, I've got a candidate for you. Welcome. If you're looking to sign up, you have to talk to the instructor. Head over to that building in the courtyard.
I'm here to be recruited. You? <laughs> How'd you make it through the physical without breaking a hip? <sighs> All right, Gramps. Let me just find you on the list here. I signed up at the entrance. Kahal Fillon. Ah, right. Here you are. Now let's get down to business. You ready for the interview? I'm ready. Let's start with a technical question then. Our assault troops are equipped with a new type of pump-action rifle. What kind of sight is it equipped with? A laser sight. Wrong. They have a holographic sight. But I understand why you'd get that wrong, Grandpa. Back in your day, they probably still had bayonets. Let's talk Endrin now. The company has an internal motto for those in the know. Can you tell me what it is? The cost of the fine is always less than the cost of compliance. That's the one. Sounds like you're gonna fit right in. Some guys roll on in complaining about the company not having a moral code. <laughs> Screw them. Okay, enough of this paper pushing bullshit. I know a combat vet when I see one. Welcome to Andrin's training program. Head over to the waiting room. Someone will come get you new recruits in a few minutes. Understood. Managed to get through their test just like that. Well done. But they want to make you wait. We don't have time for that. You should see a command post overlooking the waiting room. They'll have a computer inside and a service door leading into the mine. That computer will allow you to open the service door and cut communications with the lower floor. And the people here won't know what's going on in the training center. Wait here. Our training center is in the middle of an old mine. One of our officers should come by to escort you. see what's happening.
What? Mm. Trespass weapons ready! in the mine. The propane tank's at the center of the site. There should be a service door that leads there. Now we're talking. Welcome, sir, to Endrin's training center. You are about to undergo a state-of-the-art training regimen, transforming you from a flabby disappointment into a hardened killer. Once your training is over, you'll be outfitted with the best equipment and money can buy. Take the time to watch one of our training sessions. You can see through the window behind me. What? Hmm. We've got a hostile. There's an intruder in the area. Who's pistol?
I see the tank. Gonna have to cut through the medical sector to get there. They're injecting something into their recruits. We're aware. Andrin's soldiers reek of the worm. We've been trying for weeks to figure out just what's in that serum of theirs. How long will it be before our latest batch of recruits is trained? Two months for most of them. Less for the ones who react well to the serum. Excellent. I'll communicate that to Major Brainer when she returns. Something. So the injections have something to do with the worm. We think so, but we can't prove it yet. That's one of the things Ava and Adana are investigating. There's silver here. Lots of it. The smell's overwhelming. We must be in their armory. The propane tank's downstairs from you. I made it to the propane tank, but there's a soldier guarding it. He's more monster than man, though. Just muscles stacked on muscles. One of their elite soldiers. One way or another, you're gonna have to deal with him.
Security's detected an intruder, but he's not going anywhere now that we've got the site locked down. Stay on your guard. Put a bullet in. I've got eyes on an intruder. Set the explosives. There we go. The explosives are in place. Time for you to get out of there.
Hold. Search the warehouse. If you find the intruder, don't try to play him. Give the alert immediately. have just cleared testing. Just got the green light for their deployment. Good. Keep it up. Almost at the control room. Steal yourself. Cutting the ventilation won't go unnoticed.
ventilation system down. Madonna. Nobody here, but her computer's on. Kaha! You know I hate it when people mess with my stuff. That's an impressive amount of equipment. It's the bare minimum for leading a handful of activists against a megacorp like Indran. Haven't changed much, have you? Aside from a couple of new lines on your face. <laughs> Thanks, asshole. You know... I always knew you'd come back. It was just a matter of when. This isn't quite the reunion I had in mind. But it's a happy one. I heard about your handiwork at the mine. Adana. Kahal? You must have a lot to talk about. I'll go check on the solar panels. Catch you later. Adana, I... How are you doing? You've grown. It's not worth trying to rebuild that bridge now, Kahal. Not after abandoning me for five years. I'm sorry, Adama. Where do you think an apology is going to get you? You know, it was hard enough to get over Mom's death, but dealing with the fact that you chose to leave me behind when I needed you most? That left a scar. You were so focused on doing what you thought was right that you never thought about what it might do to me. I don't blame you if you hold it against me. But I still stand by my choice. I spent those five years finding my way back to the man I was. Even if you were with me, I... wouldn't have been me. And you'd have been just as alone. I was in no state to look after you. I couldn't have been the father you needed. I wasn't. Stop, Kahal. I'm really not in the mood to hear you rewrite our family history. Endrin just carved a bloody wound into my cairn. They killed my friends. Right now, all I care about is tearing Endrin apart. Rodko told me you and Ava were undercover at Endrin during the attack. That's right. I managed to infiltrate the fracking site. They just upped my security clearance, too. I've got access to their protected data. This is the best chance we've ever had at taking Endrin down. 
we sink them from the inside. Sink Endrin from the inside? And how do you plan on doing that? A while back, Ava Rodko and I discovered that Endrin's injecting its new recruits with a special serum that makes them more... T everything. Yeah, I saw it myself when I was in their training center. The injection transforms people. Makes them stink of the worm. There's more to it than that. When I first joined Endrin's ranks, I was trying to figure out what was going on with their biofuel project. But, while I was analyzing the formula for the biofuel, I noticed an encrypted molecule within it. No employees have access to its composition. That same molecule is in the substance they're injecting their troops with. As well as another project. The Earthblood Protocol. The Earthblood Protocol. Any idea what that's about? Not yet. But that can wait until after we figure out what this mystery molecule actually is. Once we figure out what that mystery molecule really is, we'll know what they're pumping their soldiers with, and their plans for this biofuel. Then we'll leak that info to everyone who'll listen, block the biofuel's launch, and hopefully put the final nail in Endrin's coffin. Thing is, right now the encryption they're using on their data is impossible to break. That's why we came back. We wanted to tell Rodko how we were stuck and figure out what to do from here. Yeah, I read Ava's letter to Rodko. How can I help? If you want to help, go meet with Ava. She and Rodko will be figuring out our next steps. All right, I'll go check in with her and then have a talk with Rodko. Any idea where I'll find her? By our solar panels. If you've got any other questions, you'll find me with the rest of the pack. They need me. Old notes from Ava, before she created Lambda Mankind. How you doing, big guy? Figured I'd get out of the way, let you catch up with 80. Though, from the look on your face, it doesn't look like it went well. She's still angry at me for leaving. Can you blame her? Shit, being a teenager is bad enough, but Ludmilla's death, your exile, it was all hard on her. But you did what you had to. You had to get away from us to get yourself back on track. That's what I tried to tell her. I've been telling her that for years. Never eased her pain, though. But you're back now. It'll pass. Just give it time. Adana told me about your mission to infiltrate the fracking site. Yeah, about that. We're currently at a roadblock. Endrin's data encryption is uncrackable. So she said. Our only way to get our hands on that data is to take it directly from the server in their lab. But surveillance is tight. Even Adana couldn't get in there without being caught. And I don't think I could create a big enough distraction to draw their security's eyes away. What about your Lambda Mankind? I feel like they'd be distraction enough. That's not happening. If we staged a full-on attack, they'd lock down the whole site, lab servers included. This is a job for a scalpel, not a chainsaw. Gotta keep our operation lean. Sounds like you've got something in mind. If we want to draw security's attention, we have to hit them hard. Blowing up the refinery should be the trick. But that's not happening until we can get into the fracking site. That's step one. The site is protected by an electric fence and a myriad of cameras, all of which are powered by the dam Endrin acquired when it bought the site. Now, if someone could get into the dam and connect me to their network, I could access their system discreetly. Allowing you to cut the power to their defenses without their notice. Exactly. We can worry about the fracking site after that. Okay. 
I'll go talk to Rotko to see how he wants to make up the teams. Thanks, Gahal. It's good to have you back. But if you don't mind, I'd like to take a few moments for myself. Lost some friends during the attack. Don't worry. Take all the time you need. So, any news on the group that was supposed to? As you know, Magadon claims they Hello opened there. a new lab to develop natural supplements. It's obviously a front, but they've got the public eating out of their hand. And they just brought their supplements to market. If we don't expose them, a whole lot of unsuspecting people are going to get poisoned. The new lab of theirs is still under construction, and their security's full of holes. It's the perfect time to stage an attack. We split into three teams. You two take the north entrance. Me, Joe, and Ryan will take the south. Alex, Danny, Quinn, you three create a diversion at the east entrance. Everyone stay in contact. If we hear even a whisper of trouble, we're out of there. Be ready to act as soon as I hear from our mole. So, were you able to talk with your daughter? Adana told me about her and Ava's plan to get their hands on the encrypted data inside the fracking site's laboratory. To bring Endrin down from the inside, yes. I think they've got the right idea. If we manage to chase Endrin from this region, they'll just continue their dirty work elsewhere. It's time for a decisive blow. So we follow Ava and Adana's plan. We'll attack the dam to bring down the defenses of the fracking site. I want you to lead the incursion. You coordinate with Ava and Adana over comms, and allow them access to the dam's network. Ava gave me the rundown. But if I set off a single alarm, things will get very dangerous very quickly. I know. One sign something's amiss, and Tank Girl will be at the dam before you know it. So while you're sneaking through the inside of the dam, I'll be creating a diversion on the outside. That should keep her attention off you. And even if someone does raise the alarm at the dam, Tank Girl will have no idea why you're really there. Good. You can count on me. Excellent. We'll have Declan meet you near the dam. He's got the relays you'll place to get Ava and Adana access to Indrin's network. There's still a long way to go. But life's picking up again in the cairn. Ludmilla, I hope you can see this, wherever you are. Hey. Kahal, right? You must be Declan. You with Lambda Mankind? That's right. Ava's told me all about you. It's an honor, really. I don't know about that. I hear you've got the relays I need to install at the dam. Yeah, I got them right here. You need anything else? What do you know about the dam? After you took down their training center, they doubled down on security at all the other sites in the region. Even if Rotko draws their attention, you're still going to have a lot of resistance. They've even brought in some of their elite guards from Nevada. And these guys are huge. I don't even know if you could call them human anymore. We've met, but I had no idea they were from Nevada. Well, the training center you took out wasn't the only cart Endrin had in its hand. That figures. How'd you meet Ava, anyway? By investigating her, really. I used to be a cop, tasked with putting her and Lambda Mankind away. And I tried, but Ava runs a clean operation. That didn't make the bosses happy, though. They told me to falsify evidence to bring him down. That's when I realized they were in Endred's pocket. I tried calling him out, but the whole precinct came down on me like a ton of bricks. I had no choice but to run. And I ran to Ava. I pledged my life to fighting Endred. You and the other humans. 
You know who it is you're working with, right? This isn't just ideology for us. Yeah, I know. I know what you are. Ava told us everything. Trust me, Kahal. We're all on the same side here. We're fighting for the survival of the planet, whatever the cost. I should be good. Before you go, I've got a favor to ask. We've identified a key player working at the dam. We think she's got important information on whatever Andrin's up to in Nevada. Her name's Victoria Vokes. We need you to question her. Get whatever info out of her you can. Keeping the Cairn safe is my top priority here, but I'll see what I can do. Thanks. Good luck, Hal. was destroyed when Major Grainer's squadron attacked the activists' camp. What are we supposed to do with it? Take it to their mine? Nothing like that. They only want DNA samples. Just a routine pass. Don't ask questions, just do your job. Civilians taking readings on the nearby riverbank. Should I warn the commander? No, they're working for us. Nothing to worry about from them. What does the commander intend to do about these animals? You'll know as soon as I do. For now, sit tight.
security. What? We've got. We've got an intruder. There you compromise. I'll paint this place with your blood. Hope you live in Ava, I'm at the entrance to the site. Good. The dam is down below. I'll give you the targets once you're in. Try to be careful. Don't worry. This isn't my first rodeo. Okay, let's go. I'll make good use of that. The main elevator is the only way to reach your targets. You should see a big warehouse door. It's just behind that. Got it.
recruits from Nevada. Next week, should be around 20. Their survival rate is improving. Perhaps I'll pay her a visit. How are you doing, Rodko? Are you taking the bait? inside. Okay. I'll mark the terminals where you need to plug me in. And once you're finished, I'll guide you to the extraction point. Got a call from the fracking site. Apparently, there's been a drop in voltage that's affecting their electric fence. Huh. Well, let's increase the throughput of the dam to boost the power supply. Who was it who called? Major Grainer? No, thank God. She's in Nevada. But she should be back in with more men and better hardware. President wants the order. Hold up. <laughs> Ready for any...
Suppressor sighted. There's an intruder in the area. Be careful. Rod, go. How are you holding up? All right for now, but we'll be falling back soon. Disconnected the first terminal. Perfect. Adana, how are you doing with the deceptors? They'll be ready in a few minutes. Secured the turbine's perimeter. All clear. Anybody oh, there? What? Thank you. 
Anybody that... So I just received the medical files on the troops coming in from Nevada, and... And? Something wrong? I don't know. They're ex-cons, so their blood test came back up. Second terminal's disconnected. Great. The deceptors are just about ready. They'll make it look like everything's still up and running. Andrin won't notice a thing. Motherfuckers.
gun to the breach. Let's do this thing. What do you want with this Volkswoman anyway? We're trying to find out more about Andrew's biofuel. 
Apparently, it's manufactured in Nevada. And guess who just came back from there? I want the report on my desk first thing tomorrow morning. Will do, Mrs. Fox. Victoria Vokes? That's right. If you want something, be quick about it. I'm busy. Who are you anyway? Are you familiar with Lambda Mankind? I've heard of them. Another group of back-to-nature idiots standing in the way of progress. Well, that saves me an explanation. I'm working with them. I'm with Endron's Intelligence Division. We have vital information for you, Mrs. Vokes. It's taken us months, but we've managed to infiltrate the eco-terrorist group Lambda Mankind. Attention. We've learned they're planning to kidnap you. Me? But why? That's what we're trying to figure out. Perhaps you could answer a few questions for us. We know that you're working on the biofuel project. Can you think of any reason why someone would target you for that? Hmm. That's a delicate question. Only a few scientists and senior staff know the details. And of course, President Watkins. Your apprehension is understandable, Mrs. Vokes. But the threat is real. Your life is in danger. What threat does a handful of self-righteous, forest-dwelling hippies pose? What? Are they gonna slogan me to death? Think again. They're far more dangerous than they look. We found their last hostage with his hands cut off and his eyes gouged out. Oh my, my god. Oh, that's horrible. You... you don't think... Could they be after me because of the human testing? What do you mean? You know, th those prisoners, they'll do anything for a commuted sentence and a few years on our payroll. Anyone who agrees has to undergo a series of... No, I, I can't share that information with anyone. I understand. Just tell me what you can without violating the non-disclosure agreement. <sighs> okay. All I can tell you is that when we first tested our biofuel in the wild, we discovered something very... peculiar. Some animals exposed to the exhaust fumes changed. They became more resistant, more... aggressive. Once we discovered that, we came up with a plan to test the effects on humans. You've tested... on humans? I see. What does it have to do with me? Why am I being targeted by terrorists? Calm down, Mrs. Folks. The Intelligence Division will take care of this situation. You have my word. You promise? Just in case, could you get me some protection or bodyguards or something? Please, Mrs. Vokes, focus. We believe you have data on the biofuel project somewhere on site. Is that correct? I... yes, that's right. My office is at the dam. I should have one of those files open on my computer right now, in fact. Give me your badge, Mrs. Vokes. We'll need to completely wipe your hard drive. Can't take any risks with that sort of thing. You understand. Um, yes, I suppose I do. Here. Oh, God. This is a nightmare. I'll stand by for your instructions or anyone you send. I'll send some men to protect you as soon as I can. In the meantime, do not speak about this to anyone. Thank you for your cooperation, Mrs. Vokes. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Ava, did you get all that? You bet I did. Nice work. All that's left is to find her computer. I've got the data. We're good. Great. That data's just what we need. Well done.
Rod, go. How are you holding up? All right for now, but we'll be falling back soon. That's the last terminal sorted. The receptors are ready, Ava. I'm on it. Okay, I'm in the dam's control system now. Good to go. Go haul. It's time to withdraw. I'll tell Rodko. I've identified a vehicle exit. I'll open it for you. I need some of your men to help transport replacement parts to one of the turbines. And my men are staying right here. Major Grainer's orders. But this turbine needs to work to ensure an optimal level of energy for the fracking site. Yeah, that's not my problem. Take it up with the Major if you've got a complaint.
Victoria Vokes knows anything about it, and if you ask her, she'll tell you the same thing she tells everyone else. That's classified and well above your pay grade, right? That's right. Still, I can't blame you for being curious. Hello? Oh shit, Jesus! Call security! Yeah? I'm... I'm glad you're back. Me too, Eddie. Me too.
I'm out. Nice job. Bring me Volk's data as soon as you can. This is where Rodko and the others staged their distraction. Here's Volk's data. Hell yeah. This should give us a look at what Indran's mixing into its biofuel. If this data contains what you hope it does... Then we'll be able to land a heavy blow against Indran. It's probably got info on what they're doing in Nevada, too. I'll keep my fingers crossed. Our things at the dam. Did they find out what we did? Doesn't look like it. The plan worked perfectly. They must think they scared you off before you managed to do anything. They'll figure it out in due time. We need to move. I'll go see Rodko. Pop by to see Adana too, if you've got the time. She'd appreciate it. How's everything going? Good. Great, even. We're this close to taking Endron down. And it's all thanks to you. Not just me. All of us. True, but everything's changed since you came back. The whole pack is doing better. Why did you go away, Dad? Really? You know why. After the death of your mother, something snapped inside me. And it cost Rafika's life. I was a raw nerve, liable to give in to rage at the slightest push. If I'd stayed, if I'd hurt you. But now you've come back and everything's okay. Please, Dad. I don't want you to leave me again. Me neither. I never wanted to go. But I'm still a danger to you. I know, but if I lost you again, I... I just want you to think about it. I will, Lady. I promise. Let's talk about it again when all this is finished. Have you had time to plan our next steps? We gotta act before they realize what we did at the dam. I know. And I'm ready. Go get Ava and Adana. It's time to attack our final target. The plan is simple. No unnecessary risks. We go in as a small team and get the data on Indran's twisted experiments. Then we let the media do the rest of the work for us. Ava? The room housing the data we're after is impossible to unlock from the outside. Trust me, we tried. Which is why I need you, Cahal, to connect me to the server in their central control room so I can open the way for Adana. The problem is, even if we manage to open the door, that room is under high surveillance. I'd be detected before I manage to recover anything. So Ava said, we need security to keep its eyes off the screens for a few minutes so you'll have room to work. Blowing up the refinery should do it. I'll handle that. That would put the site out of action and get their whole security team's attention. Two birds with one stone. But that still won't buy you too much time, Aidy. You'll have to be quick. Three minutes is all I need. And then our problems are solved. Ava, you'll be in charge of coordination. I'm counting on you. Kahal, we'll meet in the area that links their outpost to the fracking site. Okay, we'll draw less attention that way. But if the outpost raises an alarm, 
Declan and I will jam their communications, just in case. Adana, you go about your normal workday until you get the signal. Everyone else, we attack this evening. I wish you all the best of luck. Declan, are you ready for this evening? Hey, Carl. Yeah. I spent a fair bit of time watching Endron's sights. There won't be any problem in our sight. What's the layout of this place like? The fracking site is built in the shape of a cross. The labs where Adana works are to the north, and the refinery to the south. The flare stacks lie to the east and west, and in the middle is the central control room. The central control room. That's where I install Ava's relay. It's fairly close to the entrance after the outpost. You shouldn't run into too many problems on your way there. Though they recently received some new kit from Nevada. Large caliber defense turrets. And I'm sure they're loaded up with silver. I'll be careful. Thanks for the info. Good luck this evening. Right back at you, thanks. Intruder managed to get inside, but from what I've heard, he fled before he could do anything. Threat was on the outside. We I'll lost a number of men in the attack.
The Nevada HQ sent us men and weaponry to make up for the losses at the training center. Yeah. Major Craner made the request in person. She's not the sort of person you say no to. What do you want? Should have picked another job. Ready to go? I've been waiting for this. Ava, can you hear me? I met up with Rodgo. We're going through the gate of the fracking site. We're ready to launch the attack. Understood. It's our turn. I'm headed for the refinery. We'll meet up when it's over. Good luck, brother. And you, Rodko. Everyone's in position. I'll show them hell. I'm in the lab. Everything seems quiet so far. No one suspects a thing. Then let's get going. Kahal? You've got to connect me to their servers. Adana, as soon as I create a breach, you get copying. And be careful, all of you.
I see the terminal. Connect me. Alert. Intruder detected. Alert. Intruder detected. Good to go, Ava. Time to work my magic. I'm on their network, but we got a problem. Yeah, shit. They've changed their encryption. We're going to have to bring down their whole network if we want to unlock the door to those servers. Tell me how. Ava, the flare stacks. That'd be the fastest way. Oh, you're right. We use the pressure controller on the flare stacks to force a system reboot. That'll unlock the whole site. Dad. See the flare stacks? The big towers with flames coming out the top? You need to place Ava's relays on those terminals. attempt to connect. They're trying to find me. Block them. That's what I'm doing, but you need to move. I can't jam them forever. I'm at the first flare stack. Don't just stand there. Hook me up. The longer you take, the more dangerous this mission gets.
I'm a good shot. Ava, I've connected you to the first flare stack. Good. Keep it up. We've got this. Oh, <laughs> 
I'm at the second flare stack. Be careful. It seems like they realized something happened to the first one. Second flare stack. Here we go. Eighty years. 
soon as Bronco blows the refinery, I'll reboot the system. You've got two minutes max to copy the data. Are you ready? Just say the word. Now, Bronco. On it. Well, that should attract their attention. Madonna, get moving. I'm on my way. As soon as you've got what you need, we're out of here. The alarm's going off. Fuck. Get out of there, Adonis. Forget about the data. They're coming. They're... Eighty. How do I get to her? The elevator at the center of the site. It's the quickest way. Rod, go. I'm ready on my way. I'm almost there. Find my daughter. Slaughtered them all. Damn it. I have eyes on Adana. They've taken an elevator to the roof. She's still unconscious. And Rodko? He's a few rooms ahead of you. I, I think. I think he's given in to his rage, Cahal. No, not you, Rodko. Please, Cahal, you have to do something.
taken her. I'm sorry. I... I could not resist my rage. I know, my friend. No one could blame you. <clears throat> She's all that's left of my sister. Find her. Protect her. For... Ludmilla. <clears throat> I had no choice. He was overtaken by rage, he would have killed me. Rocco, please. You can't be gone. Damn it, Ava, snap out of it. They've taken my daughter. Where is she? They... They took her to the roof. Guide me. The elevator's in the office above you. You should be able to get there through a nearby ventilation duct. Donna! Fuck! No! Wait, I know you. I am Richard Watkins, Endron's CEO. I've been keeping tabs on you for a long time. Then... you knew. Of course. Your little attack, your little plans. <laughs> we knew everything. I've been trying to identify you for some time. You can't imagine all the wonderful things we'll be able to accomplish with you. Losing a few sights was a small price to pay. I've got great hopes for you, my dear. Mr. Watkins, we'll be at our destination in two hours. <laughs> what have you done to me? That helicopter. Find out where it's going. I managed to intercept one of their calls. They were talking about a package they were delivering to Meridian State Prison in Nevada. They also talked about some treatment. They want to do something to her. Find out all you can about this prison and get things ready for our departure. As soon as I'm back, we're leaving for Nevada. But what about Rodko? Are we just gonna leave him? There's nothing we can do for him now, Ava. I'm sorry. But 80's our priority. Rotko would have said the same thing. I know. The backup generator. Rotko's scent is still fresh here. We have to get her back before they do anything. Don't lose your head, Ava. Without you, we're blind.
decided to pull out all the stops. Cahal, Endrin set up these new weird pumps. I don't know what they're injecting into the earth, but Ethan is suffering. I'll take care of it, Ava. Get your crew together and leave for Nevada. Find 80. That's the plan. Contact me on my terminal as soon as you're finished. Cahal. The forces of the worm have returned. They spread unfettered. As they poison the earth, the worm's corruption spreads. What does the test say? It's strange. Compared to samples taken just 200 meters from here, the difference is staggering. The sample taken by the dam contains less than a tenth of the number. getting the same results with the new DNA tests. Do you think we've discovered a new species? I highly doubt that. Let's just collect the samples and get out of this godforsaken place. I don't like what I've heard about those activists that live in these woods.
Only one more to destroy. Even remains is defiant, but his strength will only hold out for so much longer. This I set you free. Return to Yifen. I thank you, Fianna warrior. that's been killing my men. Truth! Show him what you can do! Be gone. This is no place for bloodshed. Make the Umbra take you. What? Yeah! 
You have freed this territory from the clutches of the worm, and the spirits are returning to the forest. Your fight for the cairn is over. Yet, in spite of your victories, your spirit is troubled. We have lost our leader, and our pack is scattered. Even heavier on my heart, Endrin has taken my daughter. I felt the Silver Fang submit to his rage. Though you may carry the burden for the rest of your life, you did what had to be done. Leave without fear, Kahal, and find your daughter. I will call the Garu back to this cairn and continue my endless vigil. We shall meet again. Ava must have found Adi. She must have. Ava, the pumps are done. Tell me you found Aiden. They've taken her to one of their sites in Nevada. Viridian State Prison. That's where they... I know. No time to lose. How do I get in? Don't worry, I've already got a plan. Declan's stolen an injured helicopter. Meet up with him and I'll give you the rundown en route. Kahal. Viridian State Prison is in Nevada. They've got a lab below the prison. That's where they're keeping Adana. The Nevada authorities have been hunting a serial killer for years. The Butcher. Badlands Butcher. That's your new identity. I've entered your description into their database. Get yourself arrested. They'll throw you straight into Viridian State. turned up. Been waiting for you for a couple days now. I take it Ava put you in here? Good to have another man on the inside. How is she? I don't know her too well, but it's clear all this is shaking her. She's putting everything she has into the search for your daughter. I think that's the only thing keeping her going. I can relate. Who's in charge here, anyway? A guy named Hadley. He's the one who gave you the sticky eyes when he walked in. An ex-con promoted all the way up to Warden. Try not to rub him the wrong way. He's an engine man, through and through. Every bit as violent as his guards. Oh, and speaking of, most of the guards here are elite soldiers in training, and they're not big on warning shots. Some of the prisoners might have info. Those with influence. The two most influential prisoners around here are Lon Shibeta and Seth... Seth. Shibeta's Mafia, and he's still running his business from the inside. I imagine he gets along well with the Warden. From what I hear, they're always trading favors. The other guy, Seth, he controls the drug trade around here. Might be worth a visit if you need a boost. You'll find him in the gym. He never leaves. Apparently he's sick with something. Got it. You have a plan for getting out of here? I can't protect you while I'm looking for Adana. Don't worry about me. Ava's got it all figured out. Good. Now lead me to the Shibeta. I'll start with him. I'm not looking for problems here, Butcher. One toe out of line. 
and you're dead. That's your guy, at the top of those stairs. If you need me after, I'll be in my cell. You're Lon Shibeta. In the flesh. And you're the notorious Badlands Butcher. Welcome to Viridian State, my friend. To what do I owe the honor of your visit? I know this prison has a lab where certain prisoners can undergo treatment. I need to get in there, and I'm told you can help me. And perhaps, I can help you. <laughs> Could you now? I do know where this laboratory of yours is. I might be uh, amenable to a deal. I give you what you want in exchange for a small favor. What can I do for you? You see, two of my men think that the time has come for me to uh, retire. A man can't advance in this world without possessing certain values. Ambition is one, of course, but so are prudence and loyalty. I take it these two men were neither prudent nor loyal. Yeah, you catch on quick, I like that. The names are Neil Jordan and Eric Ross. What can you tell me about Neil Jordan? Neil has a job in the workshop during the day. Uh, do be careful when you take care of him, though. They watch that place like hawks. That said, all sorts of accidents can happen in a workshop. <laughs> all sorts. Where can I find Eric Ross? Uh, Eric's in quarantine. Most of the prisoners that get the Endron treatment usually spend a few days there afterwards. I hate to tell you, but... Unless you can find a way in, you'll have to wait until he comes out. Mm, I don't have time to wait. Guess I'll have to get creative. I'll take care of your men. But once it's done, I expect you to hold up your end of the bargain. Hey, Lon Chibetta is a man of his word.
What the fuck, Cahal? You slaughtered them. I didn't have much choice. And how are you gonna get into the lab now? I'll find a way. Trick question. I found a way. Overheard a conversation between Hadley and a guard while you were off chomping people. The guard had just come back from the lab and handed over this badge. I found it on what was left of Hadley. All yours. Much obliged. Figure I better get out of here before the guards from the other blocks show. I'll send this signal for a Lambda Mankind pickup. Good luck, man. Where did you put that last batch of drugs? I left everything on the table in the staff lounge. Seth wants us to send him everything before tomorrow, but the drug still needs some work. The dosage is too high. Right now, taking just one would put you six feet under. I've got to redo the dosages. Well, there goes our chances of an on-time delivery. <laughs> Good shot. Nice and quiet. Good. Just need to slip one of these to dear old Ross. Shit. This is Hadley's office. Let's see. No. Found it. The 
laboratory. That's where they took Adana. I have to Except find her as soon as I can. Badly to the treatment. Eric Ross and Seth Aguera. So I noticed. It's something we see often with heavy users of psychoactive drugs. Their cellular structures are weakened even before the treatment. So when we inject the serum, the metamorphosis is quicker and notably more painful. This is where those monsters were developed.
I picked up your scent from down the corridor. You're like me, aren't you? Who are you? My name is Onawa. I am the pack leader of the Red Talons. And who are you? Onawa. I've read Indrin's reports about you. My name is Kahal. I'm looking for my daughter, Adana. Endrin kidnapped her and took her here. Adana's your daughter, is she? I met her. They had her locked up in the cell next door. I was their first subject. But I didn't give them the results they were hoping for. Whatever they are doing, I think it is linked to our first change. Adana hasn't gone through her first change. Their tests on her came back positive. They took her off to Endrin's headquarters. To do what, I do not know. Take me with you. All that awaits me here is death. Good work. Now, follow me. This door leads into an underground parking garage. Steal a truck. We'll need one to get to my can. There are guards. For Mori, I can feel it. And I am in no state to help you. You've got to do it alone. Thank <laughs> you. 
that so? Call. What are those outsiders doing in my territory? It's not just Endrin spreading across my territory. We have been invaded. Freed Onamwa. You, reek of human, warrior of Gaia. For what purpose do you enter my territory? I came to rescue my daughter from the claws of Endrin, the claws of the worm. You. Hundreds of miles for your daughter. And yet... And yet you abandoned her yourself once. I can see it. Yes. For five years. Along with the rest of your pack. Are you truly worthy of my confidence? Can you even still call yourself warrior of Gaia? And now, you fight beside humans, beside the enemy. Not all humans are servants of the worm. But all are blind. They will never understand the wild or the worm. They try to apply the order of the Weaver to everything. Gaia included. They will never admit that Gaia is a wild, uncontrollable entity, and that she demands sacrifice. The Gaia you speak of is a stranger to me. Neither my people, nor the spirits we protect, see her as such. You... dare to question me? Have you any idea to whom you speak? I have served Gaia and the Wild since time immemorial. Long before your pack, or your pathetic spirits. They... Are all weak, easily swayed by the call of the worm. I 
Do not yield as the worm encroaches on my territory, but face it head on. Yet it still spreads everywhere around you. Only your cairn seems to remain untouched. Our cairn is all that matters. And we are ready to make what sacrifices we must to maintain it. Onawa has taken that role upon herself, but she may not be the last. Now go. Pursue your quest. I shall judge your worth. Feel the hate that flows through her and her guardian spirit. Ava, can you hear me? Oh, there you are. Head to our base. We've set it up near the road leading to Indran territory. HQ isn't as damaging as the outposts. That's what infants using to train this land. Endrin has been looking for Tarker's Milk Cairn for five years. Outposts are too well protected. We can't even get close to the outer wall. Ava's on it. She thinks she's found a way through the landmines. What's new? We're surveying Andron's outposts to make sure we'll be ready to attack them. They've got a lot of defenses to get past. Ava just told me about Adana. I'm so sorry, Kahal. We'll get her back. Thank you for your help in the prison. You took big risks for me. You can thank me when we've got your daughter back, but just remember, my favorite way to be thanked is cold, hard cash. Lest I forget. How did you manage to get out of prison? It wasn't easy. After your little, uh... Massacre? They sent every guard the prison had to our block. They shot any survivors they came across on sight. Nearly got me. Then a riot broke out, and before I knew it, so did the fire. My chances of signaling Ava's people were basically nil at that point, so I had to improvise. I found a dead guard and put on his helmet and uniform. Given the raging fire and all, the guards from the other blocks just waved me on through. That's how I got out. No thanks to you. We're on the same side. Red Talon still. Ava said they're a different guy. Go home. But We're gonna have you're to alone. Careful. I'm sorry, Ava. They'd already moved Adana out of the prison by the time I got there. Ah, shit. Do you know where they've taken her? Endrin's Nevada HQ. Well, that's what the leader of the Red Talons says anyway. The Red Talons? Those fuckers have been attacking my people since we got here. Rest assured, they won't attack you again. I freed their leader from Endrin's grip. They captured another Garu? They were experimenting on her before they captured Adana. Apparently my daughter makes a better test subject. Those fucking bastards. We'll save her, I promise you. The leader of the Red Talons agrees to hold back her wolves until we get 80 back. But she's not going to help? 
I think she's using us. We take the risks, she reaps the benefits. At least they'll leave us alone. I'll take it, but have you seen the wall that protects those Indran outposts? It's surrounded by a minefield. Nobody here can get through their defenses. Only you. Only me? Need I remind you that you're a Garu too? Sure, but I'm not a fighter. My strengths lie in data. Weaver stuff. Anyway, listen. I've been working on it for a couple of days, but I think I figured out how to deactivate their landmines and get you into an evac duct. It'd be too small for a human, of course, but a wolf could get through. Get to the other side and take care of their outposts. Deal with the men guarding the terminals in each outpost and connect me. Once I'm on their network, I'll be able to clear you a path through the maintenance zone. It's the quickest way into Indran HQ. Go see Declan. He'll tell you how to get past the minefield. Hey, you're here. Follow me. I heard they took your daughter to their HQ. I can't even imagine. We just have to get her back. Tell me about the outposts. There are four entrance sites inside the perimeter. To reach them, use the evacuation duct. And the minefield? Go around the perimeter wall, but keep your distance. You'll see a red mark on a rock. From that mark, go straight towards the wall. Once you've reached it, stay close. Follow the wall until you find the entrance to the duct. From there, it's all up to you. Good luck.
the site. Why do you ask? Just curious. Makes you wonder where Andrin finds the money to buy all these labs. <laughs> That's not much of a mystery. You know Pentex, right? Andrin. <laughs> Face me like a man. Don't make the hell.
honestly don't care what happens to Endrin's data. I work for Pentex. I'm just here to pick up some samples, that's all. Endrin's a subsidiary of Pentax, genius. Help me out here. Ava, I've cleared out the outpost and connected you to the network. Good. I'll try to take control of Indran HQ's surveillance system. I've learned more about the Earth Blood Protocol. The stuff they're injecting into their soldiers acts directly on their immune no. system. Adana was Seems the like the experiment they've been conducting to had to do with the protocol, too. Don't worry. We'll get her back. Whatever it takes. The first time I saw her, she was with Orlov. She just had surgery. HQ will be sending us reinforcements soon. Good. As soon as they arrive, we launch our attack on those activists. They've fucked with us for long enough.
Oh shit! Well done. I'm almost through their defenses. Keep going. Endrin's headquarters has been pretty active lately. Seems like our attacks on their outposts haven't gone unnoticed. They're gonna bulk up their defenses. Okay, people, you know the drill. Grab everything you can. Rations, equipment. If it's useful, you take it. All clear. Perfect. I want to report every hour. Each uh. Should have picked another job.
The first time I saw her, she was with Orlov. She just had surgery. I'm gonna take a look. This was sent when we were attacking the fracking site. Those eco-terrorists are out of the way. We've got some wolves to kill. Their time will come. Until it does, they're not a threat to us.
time for us to attack. Go check in with Declan. This outpost is ours. Let's see what we can bring we back to the base. We have won this battle. I wonder what Onawa would say. Okay, just stay calm. They'd never attack us. Not out in front of their HQ lane. We've got full control of the outposts, and Ava stopped their machines. They're not pumping oil anymore, that's for sure. Now there's just the HQ left. I'll take care of it. Alone. I get it. Good luck. Ava, I'm at the gate to their HQ's maintenance zone. Get moving. Every second counts. They've taken all our out. Coming for us next. Let's show him what a mistake that is. This report was printed shortly after I reunited with Adana.
wait for me, AD. I'm coming. Have you found Watkins yet? I don't have eyes on him, but I'm sure he's upstairs. Go! It's locked. There's a terminal close by. I'll get you through somehow. Nice. going to have to take the long route. That's all I can do from here. Good enough. Over there?
Any news on Watkins? He called the helicopter. He's just waiting for it to arrive. I think you can reach him. Now we're talking. The president will be taking off shortly. His chopper arrives in just a few minutes. As soon as he's gone, we'll shift our security down a level. Until then, hope you remain on the maximum alert. Now, get to your post. I slow.
Ava! Shit! Wait till he gets close. There's a promotion in it for the man who's got in this thing. Donna, I can smell her. My daughter, where is she? Impressive work. I really didn't think you'd make it this far. And who the fuck are you? William Thorne, Endron's vice president. And I've heard oh so much about you, Cahal. You and your fascinating daughter. I suggest you tell me where she is if you want to keep breathing. You'll find her at the helipad with President Watkins. Well, assuming you hurry. They'll be taking off soon. Tell me how to reach them. I don't have time for this. Clearly. The elevator leading to the heliport is nearby. I've ensured that it's active. Why help? President's orders. He's prepared a little surprise for you. I don't have time to waste on killing you. But if our paths ever cross again... I doubt they will. But who knows what the future holds. Oh. Ava! Watkins is at the helipad. He's trying to escape with Adana. I'm heading up there! Must be Kahal. It's time for you to pay for what you've done to this company. Your daughter's hate and fears will make a perfect host for Banes. And as for your friends, well, I've got a score to settle with them too. It's high time they understood. Nobody attacks Endrin. Nobody. Launch Earthblood. No! I'm gonna kill you, you motherfucker! You're gonna pay!
the apocalypse here. Watkins has released his gas across the whole region. You've got to get out right now. What about Adana? The son of a bitch just took her away in his helicopter. I got held up by one of the Red Talons. What? Oh, now we'll have to answer for that. But right now, Adana's all that matters. We've got to find out where they're taking her. Watkins Terminal. Connect me. It's up to you now. It's gonna take me some time. You've got to keep moving. I'll open a path for you through their underground labs. Just get back here ASAP. This place is steeped in the influence of the worm. I found the reports on the Earth Blood Protocol. We'll worry about that later. Find Adana. Hello there. will begin receiving data from the on-site sensors. I want hourly analysis from each division. The first test will serve as a benchmark. Once the process is calibrated, we can extrapolate how it will work Security on Security breached!
A goddess. They've taken her to one of their offshore black sites. I'll send Declan to pick you up as soon as we've moved the survivors somewhere safe. So I've got time to settle things with Onawa. She have really given in to the worm. I have to be sure. What is it? Dusk. The gas. He, he... He... He didn't make it. No! I'm sorry. Dusk. for everyone.
they killed each other. The gas drove them mad. Onawa, I had to fight one of your wolves at Endrin's HQ. I had Watkins until your wolf interfered. Why? You still don't understand. Survival requires sacrifice. Endrin is too powerful. The worm is too powerful. Fighting against them only leads to unnecessary death. betrayed me. And you betrayed Gaia. You sold yourselves to the Worm. I've made no pact with the Worm. But Endron is prepared to move off our territory and leave us in peace. All in exchange for a few heads. You didn't just send one of your Red Talons after me. You also attacked Ava and her people. That wasn't us. Endrin's gas did quite a job of that on its own. But the last thing we need to convince them to leave is your head. You've lost your mind. Potch would never should have allowed this to happen unless... The worms corrupted him too. Through your bond. I'm sorry, Onawa. But I need to put things right.
Am I still your enemy, leader of the Red Talons? Forgive me, Fiona warrior. I failed in my duty. I remain blind as Endrin used me to corrupt our guardian spirit. What will become of him now? He was gravely tainted by the worm, but will regain his strength and time and be reborn from his ashes. You will forever have the Red Talon's gratitude. Are you sure the worm won't reappear as Pachua regains his power? I am no longer sure of anything, Fianna. It was my certainty that caused this. For now, all I can do is wait and see. I thought I withstood the worm on my own. But it was Pachua protecting me through our bond. He suffered the full force of the worm's corruption. And through this same bond, I allowed the corruption that infected Pachua to cloud my mind. His rage became my own. Your pack has suffered heavy losses, but Endrin's losses are heavier. We shall finish what you have started. Our concerns must extend beyond our cairn. Leave without worry, Kahal. We shall purify this territory. Maybe we'll meet again someday. You will be welcome if you ever come this way again. Time to meet up with Ava. The worm has hold of everything around us. The fight must continue. Gahal, we've got the survivors to a safe place. As soon as you're ready, return to the base and contact Declan. He'll come and get you. Understood. Declan, I'm ready. On my way now. Andron's black site is based offshore. Ava and the others are already on their way to launch the attack. Over here. My men have already secured this sector. Watkins and his troops know we're here. Doesn't matter. They won't stop me from finding my daughter. I know, but there's something more at stake here, Kahal. I've had time to analyze the data we got from Endurance HQ in Nevada. The biofuel and the treatment undergone by the prisoners are both linked to the Earth Blood Protocol. If we don't put a stop to what's going on here, the whole world is fucked, Adana included. What are you talking about? The tests on the prisoners allowed Endrin to develop a compound that acted as an attractor for Banes. Lots of people affected ended up as Fomori. Then the gas Watkins used in Nevada. It's their biofuel. They've developed a method to spread their compound in gas form, and right now this is where they're producing it. Humans will contaminate each other, turn each other into Fomori simply by driving their fucking cars. That's the Earthblood Protocol. 
Then this base needs to be destroyed. Damn right. We'll split up to divide their forces. Go get Adana, and try to draw their troops' attention. You both know you can handle it. My team will follow you to place explosives and mop up any stragglers. Fine by me. As long as you can help me find her. I'll open any doors I can remotely. Now, let's go. Good luck, Hal. Bring our girl back home. Declan, with me. Lambda Mankind seems ready. The rig is split into four sectors. And of course, Watkins locked down the whole site when he saw us coming. To get where Adana's being held, you'll need to advance sector by sector, unlocking each one as you go. Now, connect me to this sector's terminal. This sector's lock has been taken care of. How's your side looking? We're making progress. They want to adapt their compound to Garu.
on my way to the next sector. There's a helipad not too far from you. That should have access to this sector's terminal. Hello there. I'm at the North Sector. Now what? The terminal downstairs. And all the guards in your way. The North Sector guards managed to slow Lambda Mankind's advance. Keep it up! Mr. Watkins is counting on you! Make him proud!
Your turn, Ava. On it. You head to the north sector. How are you managing? Lost some men in a counterattack, but we've managed to push them back. sector. It's nothing we didn't plan for. Return to your positions and keep your eyes open. We'll make them regret attacking Andrew. Ava, how are you managing? We placed C4 on key support structures in two sectors. Took some heavy losses in the process, but we're holding strong. This email's only a few weeks old. I'm entering the North Sector. The server you're looking for is downstairs. Ah, oh, fuck. What is it? I've got two Black Spiral dancers on my screen. They're waiting for you. Black Spirals. Good. I've got an old score to settle. So, Watkins has sent his dogs to do his dirty work.
Black Spiral Dancer's cleaner. You okay to keep going? I've got no choice. We're at the last step. You've got to disconnect the server. It'll allow me to open your path to Adana. These sons of bitches won't hurt anyone again. <laughs> the server's been neutralized.
What did I do to you? I'm gonna get you out. Hold on, Eddie. Dad, it hurts. I'm burning. No. Ah! I'm here. It hurts. Dad, I don't want to die. I don't. Eighty. Eighty. Flame uh. uh. throw! Take cover! Call. Call, can you hear me? are almost ready. But Indrin sent in reinforcements. We can't handle this alone. We need you, Cahal. Adana. She's... gone. No. Watkins. Tell me where that son of a bitch is. Cahal, we might not make it. We need you here. Where's Watkins? He's on the roof of your building. But please, Cahal, I beg you. Come back to us. Ava, hold on. I'm coming. Thank you, Kahal. You can intercept their main force. We can handle the rest. They're regrouping before they come down on us. I've opened a shortcut for you so you can take them by surprise. You've got several waves of reinforcements heading your way. Keep 
Ava, I've taken care of the reinforcements. I owe you one, Kahal. Meet up with us, then we can say goodbye to this fucking place. We'll find him. I promise you. After shocking reports from environmentalist group Lambda Mankind led to a worldwide boycott, the Endrin Energy Company has abandoned its plans to bring its biofuel to market. In a written statement, Endrin leadership expressed its surprise at what it referred to as personal and unapproved actions by former CEO Richard Watkins. Find Watkins. Pentex is very interested in his research. <laughs>